Nigeria, with a population of about 200 million people, has a coastline which covers about 853 kilometers and an exclusive economic zone of 200 nautical miles. As a major maritime country in the West and Central African region, the Nigerian maritime environment is certainly a major destination in the international and domestic shipping map. In this regard, Nigeria has been fully committed to greater collaboration with the International Maritime Organization IMO, to ensure sustainable development of the Nigerian maritime industry in line with international regulatory instruments. Nigeria's quest for IMO participation dates back to 1962 when it first became a member. It has ever since remained a committed member of the organization by participating in its meetings and activities. Nigeria first became a member of Category C of the IMO Council in 1975. Even though Nigeria lost its bid to be re-elected into Category C of the Council in 2011, it has actively participated in the activities of the IMO. The Government of Nigeria through the Federal Minister of Transportation supervising NEMASA has taken actions to ensure Nigeria operates in line with international regulatory instruments. Nigeria has been a faithful financial member of the IMO over the years. NEMASA is one of the earliest maritime administrations in Africa to domesticate the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, popularly called the MARPOL Convention. The domesticated regulatory instrument for implementation of all annexes of the Convention is already being implemented. In line with the decision of the International Maritime Organization IMO to reduce fuel consumption by vessels as well as greenhouse gases and carbon dioxide emission on voyages, the management of NEMASA has launched and installed a fuel consumption data collection device on a Nigerian flagged vessel. This project, which came as a fallout of the Maritime Technology Cooperation Center, is the first in the entire West and Central African region. Nigeria plays host to the Maritime Technology Cooperation Center MTCC in the West and Central Africa region. NEMASA is coordinating awareness creation amongst African countries on the need to reduce carbon footprints in our environment, especially arising from shipping. Nigeria also plays host to IMO's Regional Maritime Rescue Coordination Center for the West and Central Africa region. Nigeria recently constructed a 5,000 metric tons per hour capacity liquid waste treatment plant, LWTP, at the Nigerian Ports Authority NPA dockyard in Port Harcourt River State, Nigeria. The facility is in line with the IMO MARPOL 7378 Convention, which is to provide facilities for liquid and solid waste on board vessels navigating Nigerian waters. The facility is now fully functional and is part of efforts to enhance marine protection and waste management. In line with international requirements for countries to inspect at least 15% of foreign vessels entering its domain, the agency inspected and surveyed over 600 vessels calling at Nigerian ports. This is an indication that Nigeria is alive to its port state and flag state responsibilities. This led to a reduction of vessels with deficiency from 18.99% in 2015 to barely 14% in 2018. NEMASA has developed a strategic plan for effective collation of fuel consumption data of applicable Nigerian vessels, 5,000 gross tonnage and above. We are among the first countries to ratify and domesticate the MAPOL Convention. We have still gone ahead to, we are in the process of ratifying the Hong Kong Convention, the STCW Convention as relates to fishing vessels, and all the other um, MAPOL conventions and protocols, including the LLC. And so, Nigeria is in the forefront of domesticating 
and rat ratifying and domesticating these conventions because we know that it has far-reaching impact on managing the health of the marine environment, particularly the seas and ocean. Being a littoral state, being a state that depends on the ocean for most of our economic activities, it's in our best interest to protect the marine environment and we're, we're taking critical steps in that direction. Nigeria has also embarked on human capacity development to enhance measurement, reporting and verification of greenhouse gas emissions. This is to enhance Nigeria's technical capacity in collection, evaluation and report of ships' fuel oil consumption data. The matter is working in line with the provisions of the Convention on the Prevention of Marine Pollution by Dumping of Wastes and Other Matter, 1972, commonly called the London Convention. Our work is to orientate the people on uh, how to do away with the waste and uh, to stop them from not depositing uh, waste into the river or into the shorelines. We are here to clean the waterways and to have a better and a clean ocean. Because this water you're seeing here is a route and a channel going to the ocean. So if we clean this place properly, it means the ocean will be clean. The development of Marine Litter Management Action Plan for Nigeria are amongst other initiatives of NEMASA to ensure cleaner oceans and safer shipping. NEMASA is taking strategic steps to deal with the issue of piracy as the Suppression of Piracy and Other Maritime Offenses Act, recently signed into law by President Muhammad Buhari, makes Nigeria the first country in West and Central Africa sub-region to have a separate law against piracy. The establishment of the Integrated Security and Waterways Protection Infrastructure, also known as the Deep Blue Project by the Federal Government of Nigeria, is another testament to the commitment of Nigeria to improve on safety and security in Nigerian waters. Statistics released by the International Maritime Bureau has shown a steady decline in maritime crimes in Nigerian waters over the past three quarters. The IMB, a specialized department of the International Chamber of Commerce, released its report for the first quarter of 2019 showing an increased level of safety in the Nigerian maritime domain. IMB also reported a drop in piracy attacks in Nigeria in the third quarter of 2019. The figures showed reduced piracy attacks from 41 in 2018 to 29 in 2019, which represents nearly 30% year-on-year reduction for the June to September period. IMB Director Potengal Mukundan noted that Nigeria was gaining advantage from coordinated responses to incidents via its maritime regulatory agency, NEMASA, and the Nigerian Navy. It is worthy to note that from the 7th to 9th of October this year, stakeholders in the maritime sector from over 80 countries converged on Nigeria's federal capital city of Abuja for the Global Maritime Security Conference of 2019 where improving maritime security in the Gulf of Guinea was the focus. Modalities to implement the 17-point communique issued at the end of the conference is ongoing. Technical cooperation between Nigeria and the IMO for capacity building and regional cooperation has improved greatly, with series of workshops organized by the organization taking place in Nigeria. As the International Maritime Organization IMO, makes empowering women in the maritime community with gender equality the focus of the year 2019, Nigeria is on board with the IMO. Wife of Nigerian Vice President led the campaign on the day IMO set aside for celebrating seafarers globally. The Ease of Doing Business Initiative of the President Buhari administration manifests daily in Nigeria as it now takes less than 24 hours to issue sailing clearance to vessels that call at Nigerian ports from about 7 days in 2015. This greatly improved vessel turnaround time.
Nigeria's membership of the IMO Council under Category C will place her in a strategic position to play a pivotal role in the African region, considering her importance as a major shipping destination within the continent, as well as her efforts towards ensuring safety and security of navigation within the Gulf of Guinea.